SoapCentral.com presents the 46th Daytime Emmy Awards Red Carpet. From Pasadena, California, it's Soap Central's Dan Kroll. Hello, my pants are in one piece now. Hey, what? Why? Oh, I thought you sent me a message. I thought you saw my, my disaster. No, I, you, the, you asked about the schedule. I sent you a message. What well, disaster I guess happened? I should, uh, on the way out of the hotel today, someone's purse got caught on my belt loop, no. and they ripped my pants from the belt loop down to the back of my knee. And what did you do? Cried a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, when I got my dress on, I was like, child goes in the other room, nothing sticky, no liquids. <laughs> like, I was so afraid of something like that. Um, I was going to wear jeans. They were there. Um, I am wearing pants from the uh, hotel look- staff. <laughs> I had nothing because you are resourceful and brilliant at problem solving. I, there it is. I appreciate that. So, would you rather, that leads to this, would you rather give a very serious speech in front of a room full of people who you may not know, or walk the red carpet naked in front of a bunch of people that oh, you do know? I'm never naked. <laughs> never. You do not want to see this naked, trust me. You got a kid, so somebody's got I've had a kid. Know. Well, he has to. <laughs> I'm told by secret sources that I'm going to win the lottery. You did a very amazing job. Oh, the other night. Thank you. So, thank you. Before we get into the silliness that is the daytime Emmys, yes. uh, thank you. It meant, to, it meant a lot to a lot of people. Thank you so much. It was uh, probably the scariest and hardest thing I've ever done in my life, and I think took, taking the advice of my mother, I just had to like lean into it and go and do it. And I'm so glad I did. And we now share a mutual friend, which is great, and you know, maybe we'll use her to against each other and create a horrible love triangle or something. I don't know. In my mind, it, it sounded better than it is. So, I have to ask you, um, in 30 seconds or less, I need to know everything that's happened to your character in the last year. Go. Uh, I found my mom's DNR and uh, tried to enforce it, and then she woke up miraculously, and then I found out she got switched, and then... And um, and then uh, my friend came back to town, and I was trying to hide her secret. But then I was going to represent my friend's mom. But then we found out that the baby was actually um, where it was supposed to be, and everything was fine. And so then I decided to go ahead and go back to Hong Kong. But then I had to come back, but I can't tell you why. And then um, so I, I can't tell you where I am right now. You're right here. That's all that we I'm need. I'm in LA in a very hot dress. <laughs> I have been given a question by the lovely and talented Zach Tinker of The Young and the Restless okay. for whoever I spoke to next. Okay. It happens to be you. Okay. He wants to know if you could create your own custom flavor Pop-Tart, what flavor would it be? Uh, well, I don't need to make a custom flavor. Don't they make it in Nutella? That's kind of what it would be. So that would be it? Yeah. Like nothing. I like the good old-fashioned strawberry Pop-Tarts with the little sprinkly, hard, crunchy stuff. That's how my mom fed me growing up. Is it how you feed your child, <laughs> no. Miss Baby President? Baby President gets very uh, well-rounded, has a very well-rounded diet. And to be quite honest, <clears throat> in preparation for becoming a major star, she chooses not to eat much at all. So. <laughs> there you have it. You get to return the favor now and give me a question to ask whoever I speak to next. What's the question going to be? Please don't get me in trouble. I'm already in trouble. You're welcome. Um, I think it. I don't know. Uh, you, uh, I have you, to think about would it. Would you rather fame? Would you rather? Oh my gosh, no. Okay. Win it, would you rather? I don't know, Dan. I can't do it. I'm too tired. <laughs> That's fine. I'll make it up as I I think that you should ask uh, what they're doing after the party tonight and find out what they're doing. First, and ask, find out if they know it's Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> ask them what kind of tequila they're going to bring me to my house. <laughs> this is, the longer you stay here, the better these get. Thank you so much for stopping by. You know I love to see you. Mwah. SoapCentral.com presents the 46th Daytime Emmy Awards Red Carpet. From Pasadena, California, it's Soap Central's Dan Kroll.